Good day and welcome. Today we have an exciting class for you on floods. A flood is when the water level rises and covers land, which is usually dry. Low-lying areas near rivers and coasts are the most likely places to experience flooding. Flood can be started by natural events such as storms, prolonged rains and earthquakes. Sometimes a flood can be the result of a human influence as well. People construct dams that overflow. Water pipes also burst causing flooding. Flash flooding is sudden fast-moving floodwaters, which occur during a sudden downpour of rain. What are some common causes of floods? Can you name a few effects of floods? What role does human activity play in exacerbating the frequency and severity of floods worldwide? Let's delve into the various aspects of floods, including their causes, effects, and community vulnerability. What are some common causes of floods? There are environmental and human causes of floods. Yes, floods can also be caused by people. A flood happens when there is too much water on the land. Too much water causes rivers to overflow and flood the surrounding area. Environmental factors are natural factors or processes that contribute to flooding events. They include heavy rainfall, snowmelt, storm surges, and flash floods, which occur due to natural weather patterns. Environmental causes are typically beyond human control. The following can result in floods. Long periods of very heavy rain fill up rivers and dams. Most floods are caused by rivers that burst their banks because of too much water. Tropical storms, for example hurricanes, cyclones, or typhoons, bring lots of rain, which causes flooding. Heavy rains can also cause lakes and dams to overflow causing flooding of the surrounding land. Steep slopes cause rainwater to flow off the land quickly and flood low-lying areas. Destruction of vegetation, if fires have destroyed the vegetation, water flows quickly into rivers off the bare ground causing the rivers to burst their banks and cause flooding. If animals have eaten all the grass, water also flows quickly into rivers off the bare land. Earthquakes and tsunamis, underwater earthquakes can generate tsunamis, which are large ocean waves capable of causing devastating floods along coastlines. The 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake occurred on December 26, 2004, with an epicenter off the coast of Indonesia setting off several tsunamis. Over 230,000 people in 14 countries were killed, and it flooded coastal areas with waves of up to 30 meters high. It was one of the deadliest natural disasters in recorded history. As mentioned before, human activity can sometimes lead to flooding. Here are some examples of how people cause floods. Dam construction, people build dams which can fill up and flood the land. Dam construction involves the building of barriers across rivers or streams to stop water flow. This is done to store water for irrigation or to provide hydroelectric power. These dams fill up over time, flooding the surrounding land. This flooding can have various impacts, including altering ecosystems. Loss of vegetation, farmers remove or burn natural vegetation to make fields, causing water to flow quickly off the bare ground. The loss of vegetation and deforestation can be indirect causes of floods. When trees are cleared from forest areas or burnt by fires, soil erosion can result. This is because the roots of the trees help to anchor the soil and hold it in place when the rains come. Without these roots, the topsoil will get washed away by the rain. The eroded soil settles at the bottom of rivers and dams, or blocks the path of water, which raises the water level. More flooding occurs as the dams and rivers can no longer store a lot of water. Settlements, in cities and towns much of the surface consists of concrete, tar, and roofing materials. Less water can soak into the soil. Water flows very quickly off streets and buildings into drains, increasing flood risk. In areas where there are trees and grass most of the rainwater soaks into the ground and only a little goes into rivers. 
Filling wetlands, people sometimes remove or fill in wetlands and lakes. A wetland is an area of land where water covers the soil either seasonally or permanently. Wetlands act like natural water stores. When they are destroyed, there is more water in the rivers because it is not being stored in the lakes or wetlands. This can also result in flooding. Floods can cause serious damage to land and property and can result in many injuries and deaths. The impact of flooding can be environmental, human or economic. Environmental impact refers to how floods affect nature and the environment. It includes damage to ecosystems, loss of habitats, and pollution of water sources. Human impact describes how floods affect people. It includes injuries, loss of life, displacement from homes, and disruption of communities. Economic impact refers to the financial effects of floods. It includes damage to property, loss of crops, infrastructure damage, and the costs of recovery and rebuilding. Let us look at these in more detail. Fast-flowing floodwaters can wash away soil, leading to the loss of fertile land and harming ecosystems. Soil erosion not only makes land infertile but also unsuitable for farming. When rivers become full and exceed their banks, they flood adjacent land, affecting habitats and ecosystems. Overflowing dams can wash away surrounding land, affecting habitats and ecosystems. Saltwater from coastal flooding can poison soil and result in the death of trees, plants and animals. Sewage and chemical contamination can also occur as a result of flooding. Floodwaters can carry sewage from treatment facilities, polluting animal habitats and water supplies. If poisonous chemicals are dumped in rivers and flooding occurs, the floodwaters can spread these chemicals over a wider area, contaminating soil, water sources, and potentially affecting wildlife and human health. Floods can result in injury and loss of life. Rapidly rising floodwaters can put lives at risk, leading to drowning, injuries, and fatalities. Disease outbreaks can happen because of flooding. Floodwaters contaminated with diseases increase the likelihood of waterborne diseases such as dysentery and cholera, which can spread rapidly among affected populations. Floods result in homelessness. Floods force communities to evacuate, causing displacement and leaving homes and belongings behind. This displacement can lead to homelessness and the establishment of refugee camps for those affected. Hunger and famine can be caused by flooding. Floods have the potential to destroy crops and livestock, resulting in food shortages and lack of access to safe drinking water, contributing to hunger and famine in affected areas. Floods can wash away roads, bridges, power lines, and railway lines, disrupting transportation networks and utilities, which in turn require substantial financial investment to repair. Floods can create opportunities for looting and theft, further adding to the economic losses experienced by affected communities. The costs associated with repairing and rebuilding damaged infrastructure, buildings, and agricultural operations can be very high placing a strain on local economies. Floods may force the temporary closure on farms, mines, factories, and other businesses, resulting in lost revenue and economic activity. Floods can wreak havoc on agricultural land, causing destruction to fields and rendering them unusable for planting or harvesting crops. Floodwaters inundate fields, destroying crops and harming farm animals, which impacts food security and agricultural livelihoods. We have come to the end of our class today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please email us any comments or suggestions you may have. Before we go, it is important for you to answer these questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and keep well.